Hi everyone, wanted to show you today how you can make your own runes. Um, this is useful if you um, can't get hold of any in any local shops um, or if you prefer to make them yourself. Um, some people feel that if they've made them themselves they feel more of a connection to them. Um, also it's cheaper, although saying that I am using Sculpey which is not a cheap clay. You can use cheaper clay. Um, but ideally you're going to want some um, oven baked clay because you need them to be quite sturdy afterwards. If you use air drying clay, um, it's too delicate and it will crumble. Um, you can varnish it, but even still it's a very delicate clay. So you do need something that you'll bake in the oven, like Fimo or something. Now you can get a pack of Fimo, um, like a small pack, a small square, um, relatively cheap. Um, so you could use that, but I'm choosing to use Sculpt because this is what I've got in the house. So first of all, what you need to do is roll some small balls of clay and flatten them out to form circles the size that you want. You can make them any size you want. Um, they can be as big as you want or as small as you want. Um, that's the advantage with making your own as well. Um, some people prefer to use um, objects from nature, like some wood. Um, and there are particular woods that are, that are good for using to make runes with. Um, can't think of what they are off the top of my head, but some people will make them out of wood. Some people will make them out of like a natural clay. Um, but I prefer to use this Fimo because I know them um, the Sculpey because I know it's going to be more hard wearing. Now, unless you like this colour, you probably would want um, maybe the white clay um, or one with a more sort of natural colour. Um, this one's more like a sort of flesh tone colour, but that's the one I mainly sculpt with when I make my creatures. So this is what I've got in the house. And you're going to need to make, I think it's 24. Let's have a look. One, six, seven, eight. Right, so I've used the Elder Footh Arc on mine, so that's 24 symbols. But you're going to need 25 if you want to include the blank rune. Now, not all sets have a blank rune. Some people disregard the blank rune, some people do incorporate it. I chose to make a blank room myself, so you need 25 of these little circles out of clay. <clears throat> and then once you've got them to the shape you want and you've got them nice and smooth, the reason I used the little spatula on top was just to get my fingerprints out. And then just use a tip of a pencil just to make some little holes in the top. And the reason I'm making holes in the top is so these runes will have dual purpose. They can either be used as little charms that I can wear um, or obviously to use them as runes. But obviously having the little holes in the top gives the option of using them for either or. And obviously trying to drill them afterwards or anything could cause, cause them to break. So it's easier just to put the little holes in to start off with. So just use that with the tip of mechanical pencil. It could be any pencil though or anything you've got that's pointy. Now you can use a pencil to carve the runes. Um, I started doing that but I find it's a bit of a pain. So I switched to my little clay tool that I've got because I can just press that into the clay to form the rune. And you want to press fairly deep but you don't want to go all the way through the clay because obviously you still want to maintain the strength of the uh, clay once it's fired. But if you do it nice and deep, it just means later on the symbols will last a hell of a lot longer on the um, clay. And just take your time nice and steady and obviously try and make sure you've got the hole for putting them onto a cord or something at the top. And obviously make sure you've got the room the right way around. Um, and then you just carry on until you've got all of the symbols. And then following the packet instructions, bake them in the oven for about half an hour on a maximum of 130 degrees. I baked these on 110 and it was about half an hour and they're perfectly set solid. Now obviously when you first take them out of the oven, they will still feel a little bit soft and they'll be obviously very, very hot. So leave them to cool for half an hour um, and then you will have your runes like this. 
and they're nice and solid they're nice and strong um, so they're fully set and everything and as you can see because the clay doesn't really change too much when it's baked the symbols are all still there and everything now I looked at first using my pen just to go over the symbols to make them a bit darker but then obviously realized that the ink was just going to wipe off so what I did in the end was switch to a very very fine paintbrush and some black acrylic paint and the reason I'm doing this is just to make the symbols stand out more um, I just think it makes them look a bit more finished you could leave them at this stage if you wanted to this is perfectly fine um, but if you want to add just a, that little touch just to make the symbols stand out a bit more you can just use some acrylic paint so all I did is take my tiny brush with the acrylic paint and go over where those grooves are that I've created in the clay now the advantage with creating the um, symbols in the clay fairly deep is even if the surface of the room gets rubbed a lot the paint will still stay in place because it's actually recessed inside the clay um, whereas obviously if you, you if you just did plain rooms and painted the symbols on top that would chip off eventually so this just makes it so the symbols will last longer and plus if for any reason the paint did manage to chip off you've still got the symbols carved into the clay so it's it makes them more harder wearing make them longer lasting now obviously when you paint over the lines you've drawn in place and everything like that um, it's not going to be perfectly neat um, so the runes will look a bit messy if you just leave them like that but I found the best thing to do is just get a baby wipe or a damp cloth and just wipe off the excess from the surface of the rune and, cause you, and if you wipe over the symbol as you can see what's left behind is the uh, paint that's recessed into the clay and then just leave that to dry and you can uh, varnish it um, I've got one where I've covered it in um, UV uh, resin so you can actually make these shiny and they kind of look a little bit like a pebble then like a little stone pebble um, but obviously that's up to you or you could leave like these this set um, I've actually left without any um, resin on or anything I kind of like the sort of more natural feel of the runes without any shiny coating on but it's up to you so as you can see all I'm doing is going over going over all the symbols and everything and I'm just making sure it's covered and then just a few wipes with a clean baby wipe and the excess comes off and once you finish painting them they look like this and you can use them as you would any other runes and the added, added advantage of these is you can use them um, on necklaces or key rings or whatever as little charms as well if you wanted to just use the symbols um, for little good look charms or for a particular purpose um, you can varnish them if you want to you can paint them if you want to um, so yeah that's it and then you just use them as you would any other runes that you bought from the shop and yeah hope you enjoyed the video blessed be thank you for watching and bye for now